let's see, where, where shall I watch today? Mm -hmm. The south of France. Yes, that, 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 that should be nice. Ah, <clears throat> very clear today. Look at that. <sighs> yes, those French women really understand beach wear. Oh, yes. Lord Zeus, Lord Zeus, you uh, wish to see me? <clears throat> Apollo, yeah, yes, my boy, come sit down. You look somewhat heated. I've just come from a conversation with Aphrodite. Uh, 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 sit down. Uh, grape? No, thank you. The two of you mm, don't get along very well, do you? Mm -hmm. No, not very. Yet I seem to remember a time when you were uh, quite close. Yes, I, I suppose you could say we were close mm. once. Yeah. But times change. So I have heard. Is that what you wanted to see me no, about? No, 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 exactly. Um, <clears throat> tell me, uh, Apollo, how, how do you spend your days? Spend my uh, days? What, what do you do? You, you, you certainly don't pull the sun across the sky anymore. Well, no. Well, I used to, of course, but not anymore. An Italian fellow, a Galileo, suggested that it made more sense for the Earth to travel around the sun, and since that seemed to work pretty well, there didn't seem much point in my doing it. I mean, getting up before dawn and all that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, mm. and, and, and then there are your duties as the god of knowledge. Uh, it's come to my attention that there are certain gaps in that encyclopedic brain of yours. Gaps? Blank spaces. Oh, well, uh, of course, you must realize mm -hmm. that, that being God of knowledge is a much bigger job than it used to be. I, am. I, I mean, we're not dealing with a few pastoral odes and the occasional epic poem oh, here. No. <laughs> Ever since Galileo, the, the mortals have been figuring a lot of things out on their own. <clears throat> you know, they have so many books now. Uh, but, but that's not to say I haven't been keeping up. <laughs> I've still got what it takes up here. Really? Really? Well, what can you tell me about the quantum theory? Uh, nothing. Finnegan's Wake, uh, the Battle of Gettysburg, uh, Valentine's uh -huh. Day. Aha! Uh, hmm? Valentine's Day. Oh. A St. Valentine's Day, to be precise. February 14, on which Valentines are traditionally exchanged. Not all that enlightening, my boy. Well, I'm sorry, I do the best I can. What's the sudden obsession with Valentine's Day, anyhow? First Echo and Aphrodite, and now you? Oh, they've expressed an interest. Yes. Well, then, that's a good place for you to start. Start what? Your refresher course on the ways of mortals. I'm sending you down among mankind to learn their modern ways so we can relate to them a little more directly. Uh, your first assignment is to find out what you can about Valentine's Day. Mm. Ready? Right now, but... Oh! Have a good time, Apollo. The Feast of Valentine will continue right after this. And now, we return to the Feast of Valentine. As we've seen, all is not idyllic for our friends from Olympus. Aphrodite is depressed because no one seems to remember the goddess of love in our contemporary world. And she's gone off to find out how this upstart Valentine has got hold on the day mankind honors love. Apollo is certainly no longer his old knowledgeable self, and has taken to using what's left of his wit in feisty little arguments with Aphrodite. Even the mighty Zeus is somewhat taken with nostalgia for the good old days among the Greeks. But at least he seems to have a plan for remedying the situation and has sent Apollo more or less winging down to Earth to investigate the new festivities surrounding Valentine's Day. We rejoin our story at Apollo's landing spot. Oddly enough, in the depths of the New York subway system. Oh, jeez. The subway's packed. Who knows what's rubbing up against you? Hey, hey, watch your hands, you lousy creep. Yeah, yeah, and so's Joe. Joe, mama. Just, just get me low, Lord, get me home to a nice hot meal with no broken toes. Oof, hey! Uh, sorry, uh, forgot to allow for the movement of the train when I landed. Where'd you come from anyway? Oh, jeez. A toga. I'll remember this, Lord. Uh, excuse me, but could you tell me... I ain't buying and I ain't selling, so back off. But, but neither am I. I'm looking for directions. Look, I'm going to be sorry for this, okay? Uh, directions to where? Well, the Valentine's Day celebration. The what? You know, 
the festivities in honor of Valentine. Who's Valentine? That's what I'm here to find out. I was right. I'm being sorry. Look, Mac, this is my stop here. Excuse me. Hey, hey, how did you get up here? About the celebration. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, there's a candy store down the block. Now, maybe they can tell you. I got to catch my ride, you okay? But let me give, give you a word of advice, okay? Get yourself some clothes on before you catch pneumonia. Thank you. I will. Zeus? Yeah? It's been suggested I wear something a little more appropriate to the times. I didn't have a chance to pack, if you remember. All right. That's better. A little snug, but, but nice. Hey, what'd you put on my lip? A mustache. It's in style. It tickles. You'll get used to it. Thank you. Happy Valentine's. Millie, where you been? Sorry I took so long, Vina, but they didn't have any kosher dills left at Freddy's, and I said to myself, Vina just won't enjoy your sandwich without a kosher dill, so I went on to the deli. And the fact that Morton works at the deli didn't have anything to do with it, I suppose. Maybe a little. Maybe a little more than that. What do you see in him anyway? Oh, Vina, he's so attractive. He certainly thinks so. Did you let him know how you feel? Of course not! How? What about, hey, cutie, I think you're a hunk. Want to have dinner with me? <gasps> I couldn't do that. But I did slip a Valentine's card onto his tip tray. Signed? No. Aw, oh, Millie, you're hopeless. But this is a good pickle. Oh, a customer. Will you take care of him, Millie, while I finish the sandwich? Oh, gladly. Oh, he's really cute. Mm, yes, he is. What about Morton? Morton who? I can finish this later. I'll handle this one. I'll help. Pardon me? Why, what did you do? Millie. I'm looking for the Valentine's Day celebration. Celebration? Yes, and I was directed here. For the celebration? That's right. Well, we got any kind of candy you want, but the closest thing to a celebration is these bourbon balls here. Valentine candy? Yeah, you know, sweets for the sweet. I see. Oh, that's clever. I'll have to remember that. Maybe this would go a little faster if you gave us some specifics. You need something for your uh, wife, maybe. Oh, I have no wife. Is that what the candy's for? Wives? <gasps> or sweethearts? Or both sometimes. So, Valentine's Day is marked by the giving of candy. Among other things. You from out of town or something? Why do you ask that? What Millie means is... You don't seem to know very much about all of this. Yeah, don't they have Valentine's where you come from? Well, not exactly. Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm here. I I'm doing some research. Or well, maybe I can help you. I've been brushing up on the subject myself lately. Well, that's very kind of you, miss. Call me Vina. A lovely name. And you're a lovely woman. Oh, he knows it. Millie. What's your name? My name is a... You uh, forgot your name? Well, no. Uh, you can call me Homer. That's nice. Like Vina says, we'll be glad to help you, Homer. Isn't there something for you to do, Millie? No, it's pretty quiet around here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a customer come through that door any second now. <clears throat> Why, there's one. <gasps> oh, Vina, it's Morton. Imagine. Hadn't you better go see what he wants? I'll try to take care of Homer by myself. Yeah, okay. Thanks, Vina. So, Morton, hi. What can I do for you? Uh, I don't know. I was just uh, walking by the shop when I got this uh, sudden urge to come through the door. Hey, how'd you know my name? Oh, well, I come in the deli a lot. Uh, once in a while, and I, I hear the boss calling, Hey, Morton, another salami. And yeah. Hey, Morton, a potato salad needs more onion. And you always go get the salami or you get the onion, so I figured you must be Morton, <laughs> if you see what I mean. Yeah, you know, you do Mr. Kinslow pretty good. Yeah, well, it's just a knack I have. Oh, uh, yeah, I remember you. Gee, uh, you come in about every day, don't you? Well, I... 
I don't know if it's every day. Yeah, yeah, I seen you, I seen you. Well, I'm surprised you have time to notice me. You're so busy and all. Yeah, they uh, keep me hopping pretty good. You know, we got uh, good customers there and then, and during the slack periods, you know, I like to, I like to keep the place pretty spiffy, especially all that chrome trim on the meat cases. You know, I, I like to keep it so I can see myself in it. You know, and you know, when you get up close to it, it makes your face look funny and your nose real big. <laughs> you don't like a fun house, you dig that? What fun? Yeah, yeah, of course, uh, the deli ain't what I got in mind for my life's work, you know. I'm just uh, working here till I can get some more money together, you know. I can see you're a man with ambition. What are your plans? Well, if I could save up enough dough, I'm thinking about heading out uh, to the West Coast. You know, I figure I'm a natural for the movies. You know? Oh, I think you're right. Yeah, what's Redford or Burt Reynolds got that I ain't? Looks? Hey, you know, I don't like to brag. But I've been told by some pretty classy dames, you know, like models and such, when they come in for a cup of coffee, that I'm one good-looking dude. Now, with a face like this, all I need is Hollywood and some good representation. Representation? Yeah, you know, personal representation, an agent, a good one. I think I'll go out west, get a good agent, and bingo, People Magazine. Sounds like you got it all worked out. Yeah, I don't like leaving nothing to chance. Of course, I'm a realist about the whole thing. I know it takes time. I'll probably have to start off small TV show, something like that. But then it's only a matter of time before you see old Morton 20 feet high talking to you right out of that big movie screen. Boy, that'll be something to see. Gee, it's nice of you to share all this with me. Oh, I don't mind. You know, I'm a man with a dream, you know, and I can uh, still talk to people. Uh, that's going to be my trademark. I'm going to share myself. Say, you know what you could do for me? What? You could get me the biggest box of candy you got. Oh, that would be the deluxe assorted yeah. heart shape with lace trim and a lifelike figure of Cupid on the lid. See, his little bow really shoots. Oops. Uh, sorry. No problem, mister. Oh. So, uh, this is to be for your sweetie. No, no, I, I ain't got no girl. You know, you know who this is for, really? Who? Me. You? Yeah, this is my big TV night. I get the munchies, you know, and, uh, well, you, you know how to... Well, I'll see you around. Here, uh, you keep the change. Thanks. Yeah, you know, that's okay, because I'm pretty conscious about gratitudes, you know, working at the deli. You, you, you know what some cheapskate left me instead of a tip today? A Valentine card. Can you believe that? <laughs> well, so long. Yeah, so long. Then the gifts are not for a, a, a goddess, say, as with the ancients, but, uh, but are given to the beloved instead. That's right. <laughs> She'll love to hear that. Pardon? Uh, nothing. How did it go, Millie? How many bourbon balls can I get for 78 cents? I see. I'm sorry. Hey, would you mind closing up alone tonight? Homer would like to buy flowers for someone, and I'm taking him to the florist. Well, I've got nothing else to do. Good luck. Thanks, but I don't really need luck, remember? So, this is a florist. Ah, uh, just smell the blooms in the rich, damp earth. <laughs> the pulse of spring in the frozen heart of winter. That's nicely put, but as I was saying, we have some of our more popular arrangement displayed in the window there. Y yes, uh, those are very nice. Uh, don't you think so, Vina? Yes, nice, but... Oh, you're right. The occasion calls for something unique, something special. Oh, we could put together an arrangement to order, you know, the old-fashioned flowers are very in nowadays. Callow lilies, daisies, baby's breath. Vina? Well, I don't know how your friend feels about flowers, but I've always been partial to orchids. Orchids? So be it. I'll take a dozen orchids. A dozen orchids? You must be very taken with this friend, whoever she is. But a single orchid is generally considered most tasteful. Only one? Can that say enough? With a simple eloquence. <laughs>